Hola. Welcome back to Cube Vision. My name's Cube, and I'm really sorry that I have not recorded or posted for a few weeks. Um, I'll explain why soon, but we should just get into it. I am I made it out of that deadly cave. I popped out of the ground over there, right by that turtle. Well, kind of over there. Well, kind of up there. Well, okay, I don't remember. But anyway, I avoided a creeper, and I made it over here, did some cooking, and here's the results of my... My amazing caving adventure. 23 diamonds. Pretty cool, huh? Um, Yeah, looking pretty good. And harvested some wheat. And now I have decisions to make. Do I set up shop here in this jungle? Or do I start walking? Looking for my my dream biome. Um, I think what I was thinking I was walking. I can't remember if it was today or when it was. Was it today? Out of curiosity, can I, I think I just ruined my chance by. I wonder if I could make it up to the top of this tree. I thought about what kind of biome do I want to live in? What kind of build? And I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. Wow, look at those. That's kind of hypnotic in, in a weird way, huh? It's, oh, wait. That's, the leaves are going to despawn if I don't do this. Don't despawn yet. I want to look around. Um, and I've decided, at least for now, unless I change my mind, I think I want to make um, kind of a Western-themed build. Because, oh, is that a cow? We should head that way and slaughter him or her. Uh, yeah, I want to make a Western-themed build, I think. And in order to do that, I either want to find a... Uh, what is that biome called with all the clay? I don't remember. You know, don't you? You're probably telling me. You just said it out loud and I can't hear you. But that is the biome I would love to find. Didn't it used to be called a mesa biome? But I think it's called something else now. Also, kind of a mountainous taiga biome would be cool. To kind of represent Colorado or Wyoming. So I think I'm going to get packed up here. Actually, yeah, I'll get packed up, sleep the night, and then we'll start walking. Where did we see that cow again? Was it this way? Climb to the top of this tree. It was. It was over there. Um, so we'll start walking that way. Into, into the west. That makes total sense. Head west. Just like the pioneers did. We're going to head west. And we're going to find our fortune out west. Okay, the only problem is if I find a village, I need to remember not to walk, run in. Ooh, do you know what we should do? I should drink some milk and get the stink off me. Let's do that. Hey, cheeky chick. Okay. So we'll go ahead and dump some water down there for a moment. Let's get some milk. Let's drink it. Whoa, that was kind of a freaky sound. Let's pick up our water. Excellent. And then we will... Nobody looking, nobody looking... Hiya! 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 Wherever we're going. Oh, I do. Oh, look, there's horses. <gasps> That's what we need to do. I need to go tame a horse and then ride a horse on my journey. Wow. I don't think I've ever had a horse that's taken this long. Oh, there we go. Okay. Best, friend, best friends forever. Okay. Speed is okay. Jumping height. Can't tell. Uh, not bad. All right, I tried out a bunch of different horses here. There was a really, really fast one that could not jump at all. And then a really good jumper that was slow. But this is this guy is fast and a high jumper. So I think we're going to start with this guy. All right, so... Let's talk. Part of the reason I haven't made episode three until now is because I've been on the road. I went back home this summer to Utah, which is where I'm from. Oh, we missed a guy over here. And that's where I rebooted the series. And then I, I came home. And so I've been on the road a little bit. And so I wasn't able to make a new episode, you know? And then when I got home, it was almost August. And some of you may or may not know this, but I am a huge Lego fan. 
massive Lego fan, especially Lego Star Wars. Uh, my, my favorite Lego themes are Lego Star Wars and Lego Castle. Um, one of my favorite themes used to be Speed Champions, but I've kind of given that up. Oh, and I also like Lego Harry Potter a lot, too. I'd say the most sets that I have are Star Wars, followed by Harry Potter, followed by Speed Champions, followed by, like, Overwatch, and then random uh, collection sets, or sets in different collections here and there, and then... Uh, but my second favorite theme of all time, maybe even my first, but definitely my at least my second, is Lego Castle. And so I just bought the Lion Knight's Castle. And I spent three days putting it together. And it's glorious, dude. It's so amazing. Maybe I'll put some photos up. So back in 2002, oh my gosh, are those horses? They are more horses. I bought myself, I got my first Lego set that I bought for myself, and it was Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, look, it's a Taiga biome. Anyway, back in 2002, I bought myself my first Lego set. And I, oh, I had Lego as a kid, there we go. Um, but the first Lego set I ever bought myself was Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter in 2002 when Attack of the Clones came out. And I loved that set. And it made me want to get more Lego. However, I was already an adult at that point. Ooh, you're pretty. Let's try you. And so I kept telling myself, no, you can't do that. It's irresponsible. It's an embarrassing. You're, a, you're an adult. Adults don't buy Lego. And so I would always talk myself out of it. Ooh, you are amazing. I think I might, oh my gosh, I want both these horses. Except I don't have a lead. Um, let's see how this one looks. Decision time. I want both these horses. Maybe I can have both of them because that taiga biome is right over there. I might want to set up over there. If there's like a mountain, if there was like snowy cat peaks next to that, I would say, yes, we're doing it here. Um, not sure what to do here. Let's, oh gosh, I like them both. I want them both. Sorry, I'm not, not concentrating in the least, am I? Well, Let's get to bed. Let's pick up the bed. Well, remember you are here. Let's see. Let's take a coordinate shot. Great. And we may or may not come back for you. Okay, should we get back to the Lego story? Anyhow. Okay, now which way is west? Teehee. Sun's rising in the east. That means you're west. Okay. Ooh, this looks promising. Um... I talked myself out of buying Lego for years and years and years. And I would even head into Toys R Us sometimes. And I would see these awesome Lego sets. I remember seeing like the Millennium Falcon at one point. Jeez, we're not gonna get this horse across there. Let's go this way. And just thinking how much I wanted it. And I picked it up and I even started walking towards the cash register. But then I said, no, you're an adult. This is embarrassing. Don't do it. So I didn't do it. This was like 2010, maybe. I don't remember what year it was, but it was it was a while ago. Anyhow, um, fast forward to the year. Oh, geez, what's going on? I need you to get out of the 
I need you to, um, yeah. Fast forward to the year 2017, and it's Christmas, and my amazing sister gives me a Christmas gift. And I open it up, and it's a Lego set. It's Anakin's tran Darth Vader transformation or something like that. I forget what it's called now. And it was amazing. And I, it was Christmas time, and I put it together, and immediately I wanted another set to assemble. I, I couldn't believe it. Ooh, look, pumpkin. I couldn't believe how happy it made me. Putting together Lego. And I finally... Ooh, hello, foxes. Hi, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go first person here. Oh, I thought I heard a zombie. Can we get out of here, please? Thank you. Um, so, that voice once again told me, No, don't buy Lego. You're too old. But do you know what I did? I told that voice to stop talking. And so I went to Toys R Us and Toys R Us was no longer there. <laughs> so I looked up uh, toy stores in Salt Lake City, Utah, and there was a really cool one. I didn't know it was cool when I looked it up, but there was one called the tutoring toy. And so I went in and I remember it was Christmas time and they're all I mean, it was after Christmas, but still there were all these kids in there and this mom and pop store and this old older man and lady were in there and they gave me this weird look okay can horses sink down into snow because if so i don't i don't want to kill my horse here this is a good sign maybe there's snowy peaks around here um i go into this store they're giving me weird looks um but but i just i want i'm like i i want a lego set and there it was the Millennium Falcon, the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon, and it looked glorious. So anyway, I bought the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon, and since that day, I have been purchasing many, many Lego sets. And it turns out, I think I have 150 Lego sets now, and I have over 500 minifigs. And so the other day, I bought the Lion Knight's Castle that just came out. And uh, I spent three days putting that together. Three days. And it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. It's such a good set. Um, highly recommend it. I know it's really pricey, but if you have the means, um, highly, highly recommend. It's so choice. Um, okay, let's go this way for a bit. Moving it out of the snow and up onto the mountain. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been obsessed with Lego. It's one of my hobbies now. I'd say that my hobbies are hiking. Not in no particular order. My hobbies are hiking and Lego. This might be the area. This might be it. So yeah, that's another reason I haven't been making videos because I've been putting together Lego sets. I think I'm going to start a Lego series on my channel, actually. Um, I don't know what I'll call it, but I think the first episode is going to be um, showing off all of the minifigs that I have that it, currently I have um, open. Just look at this. This seems like a pretty good area. Oh, I almost fell down. So I think that could be really fun. I would really, really love to make Lego content on this channel. Would you watch that? Would you be interested in that at all? Or are you just like, no, please don't do that. I have no interest in Lego. Minecraft only. Um, do you mind sharing your opinion in the comments? I'd be really curious to, to hear what you have to say about that. Okay, this is a pretty, this is a very beautiful area. I think I might start off in this area. I like the snowy mountains. I like the wooded hills. Um, I like the pine, the, uh, yeah, the pine trees. Sorry, the taiga biome with the dark, the dark oak. Is that what that is? That's not dark oak. It's spruce, silly. Yeah, I think we might set up shop here. Oh, another a Lego theme I really wish they would bring back is the Western theme. I don't know if they're going to. Oh my gosh, look at that Enderman. I didn't look at him, right? Um, I don't know if they're going to, to be honest. I really wish they would. Not time to sleep yet. Well, this is beautiful. I might just set up here. <gasps> okay, we're going to check out that village to end the episode.
Okay, before we check the episode, or sorry, check the episode out. Before we check the village out, let me corral up the horse so that we don't lose her. And uh, yeah, after that, I'll be right back. All right, I realize this is a real this this uh, corral is way too small for you. You're gonna need a lot more room to run around, and I'm sorry. I will work on it. Um, off camera, as they say. Um, but for now. We're gonna grab our eight steak. We're gonna head over and check out this winter village. Oh, you know what else we're gonna do? Just to be safe. Where's that leather? There it is. Just in case there's sinky snow over there. I'm gonna make myself some leather boots. Put them on and hopefully not die. All right, whatever your name is, I'll be back. Oh! <gasps> Milo, wait, hold on, no, wait, stay there, buddy. I think it's Milo. Where's my bones? Okay. Uh, did I, n oh, they're on me, you fool. Go back, please don't despawn, Milo. Milo's still there, right? Milo? Milo? There you are. Hello? Hey, buddy. Oh, <gasps> definitely Milo in one shot. Okay, come with me, Milo. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Wait, was that? I think that was Milo. <laughs> well, that's Milo. Okay. Oh, well. Do you know what? That was not a mistake. That was... um, What's it called? Come on, Milo. I was going to say divine intervention, but there's another word for it. That was... Wait, Milo, what's going on? Oh, you're over here. Okay, you sit there. I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. And now let's get the name tag. Sorry, horsey, I won't be using this on you. And we call this puppy... Milo. Did I spell it right? M-I-L-O. You ready? Milo, Milo, Milo. Excellent. Milo, why don't you come to the village with me, buddy? Okay, let's go. Dogs don't sink in snow, right? You know what, Milo? I'm not going to chance it. Will you guys let me know in the comments? Would my dog sink in snow or do dogs walk on the snow? I feel... Should we? Should we get two dogs? I feel bad just abandoning this one. This one's definitely much harder to get. Okay, and we got to give you, just so we don't confuse, will that turn blue? It will. Blue dye. Another mouth to feed. I don't know what we're going to name you. Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come over here. You sit there. You keep Milo company. We'll figure out what to name you later. In fact, let's have a little contest. In the comments, tell me, what should we name uh, the blue-collared dog? I will choose... Oh my gosh. Really? It's the Ambi Flesh. I will choose from the comments next time. Mm. Ah. Okay, this is the last one. Third time's the charm. Come on. Okay, and we I guess we'll do yellow with you. LOL. Let's go. So, we have two dogs to name now. We have the yellow collar dog and the blue collar dog. Please in your comment put indicate whether or not you would like to your name to be used on the yellow collar dog or the blue collar dog. And then I will choose two names. Oh, and don't just put the name, but put the reason why. Like, this was the name of my puppy, and I loved her or him for this reason. I want to know more about why you chose the name. I think that could be really fun. And then we'll, we can uh, read the, the winner's comment next time. So we have two dogs to name, three mouths to feed. Great. What? Maybe there's a zombie dungeon down here. 
Really? Really, sir? What nice shovel. What are you gonna do with that shovel? Alright, let's check this village out. We're gonna sleep over in this village, find a bed to sleep in. Okay, it's not night yet. Hi, villagers. Um, oh, look at this leather. I'm taking your stuff. I'm taking your stuff. Uh-oh, I'm also going to kick you out of your bed. Hello? Can I not sleep in your bed? There we go. Sorry, it's for your own good. Trust me. All right. Yeah, let's go look and see what's in this village other than leather armor. Ooh. That thing's not going to hurt me, right? I don't have any experience with polar bears. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually. What? Oh, a kitty. <gasps> I need fish to get a cat, though. Oh, maybe we'll come back and get the cat. I don't know. I'm not really a cat person in game. IRL, I'm definitely a cat person because they're so easy to take care of. That was a spidey. I heard a spidey. Okay, well... At least we know we have a village here and we can use it to breed maybe a librarian nice little winter village maybe maybe we can set up a little villager operation here okay that's gonna do it for me today thanks for watching again sorry it took so long to film again but uh yeah we'll definitely do a raid here at some point that'll be fun but uh wherever you are in the world i hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you next time take care Bye bye Partner?